Greetings, <laughs> greetings and welcome. My name is Jake Grayson. I am a forest gardener and a forest garden designer with my rather precarious live streaming setup held together by bits of elastic band and goodwill. I am just showing you the sketches. Um, this is the second, this is the third sketch that I've done for this job. So what I'd like to do for each job that I do is to, is to do uh, a set of sketches so that people can, and it's useful for me, that the client can see it, but also I can see it and then I can think about what plants should be going where, which is, and it's, and it's really, really helpful because it just does, it brings forward a lot of the things that you don't think about because you literally put it in front of you. So this is the view, this is the photograph from the, um, from the, from where the pergola is going to be. So I'm just going to, um, oh, hold on, where am where's, let me just grab the, this is the plan. So it might be a bit slow because the old, yeah, it's a bit slow because of the internet. Um, so this is the pergola here. And the idea is you sit in the bench and you have cups of tea and there's a wiggly path and it's, it's all, it's kind of hidden from the house and it's hidden from the road, but it's open and it's open out uh, and there's a big sky and a valley. And so it's just pretty, pretty, be pretty amazing. Uh, but the idea now is the view when you're looking out from the pergola. So this is the kind of key thing. So there's two sides to it. On the one side is a New Jersey tea, which is a is a it's a bush Kianothus. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. So it's the um, oh there's a uh, an ornamental, the blue one, <laughs> which is everywhere. Oh, I can't remember it, what the hell it's called. And anyway, so it's Kianocus Americana. So it's like, um, and it's a New Jersey tea, and it's used by used for making tea out of basically. And then on the uh, that's the, that's an evergreen with like white flowers. And on the left hand side, there's a lemonade bush, which is Rus aromatica, which is a Rus. So it's like a um, staghorn family. So there's quite a few. They're really nice plants. North both both of which North American, but actually both because. They have a use. Uh, there's all there's there is natives around. There's dogwood and there's cocky English lavender and there's a fennel and oregano. All sorts of other things going on as well. But these bushes specifically for the, um, the for the tea and for the the lemonade. Um, so these are just kind of two ideas. Um, so really nice, really nice bushes as well. Anyway, I'll just uh, show you the you know the the idea. So that's a sketch. And that's the kind of view. So you get the idea. You kind of fade out the background. And the interesting thing is, I mean, I could do a lot of work on my shrubs. My shrubs aren't all that. Um, can I sh take my face out of the way for the moment? Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> my shrubs aren't all that. But um, you get the idea there's a volume. There's supposed to be a thing here. So this is the, uh, the uh, lemonade bush. Uh, possibly get a bit sprawly possibly don't know we need to have a look into it, it looks quite a sprawly thing and uh, this is the new jersey tea uh but it's good because you're gonna go okay there's maybe a bit more height on that i, might, I don't think i don't think i drew it big enough anyway and then there's fennel and there's a uh i forgot the blueberry and then there's stones and dwarf oregano around here and then uh lavender and oh what's that what's the other one called um rosemary so it's kind of interesting, really, just the stuff that's coming up and where to leave the view. And that's the that the skyline up here. And yeah, it's quite nice. This idea of like an infinity pool, but for a garden. Who knows if that would work or not. But I kind of like that, possibly, as an idea. And also it might be too exposed. But again, it's good to bring it, it's good to focus it, bring it forward. <clears throat> so... Kind of like it, yeah. Kind of thinking, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And then there's a water bowl here, not particularly well drawn water bowl, but you get the idea. There's a little water bowl going on here. So the key thing that I've discovered, well, discovered, but the key thing that I, I'm, I'm thinking about, one of the main things on the left-hand side, there's a bed on either side, and the left-hand side is tapestry lawn. I just had it curving around to the left, but actually. I what I want to do is to curve that around to the right as well so the bed's going round it goes around the corner and the whole lot curves around and the, and the tapestry lawn curves around as well uh, and there will be some small growing um, climbers up here possibly oh I don't know don't know um, uh, what are they called sweet not sweet pea uh, everlasting pea so <laughs> it's late <laughs> 
Oh, it's an everlasting P. Can't remember the can't remember the name off the top of my head. I have a bit of shelter up here. So and then also bringing that fence in. So I think that's a really really important kind of idea. And then thinking about the plants. Now, do I leave it open or do I put a bit more screening up the front or? stones work well do i do i want it tipping out or do i want a bit more of a border or just a border at the sides so it's kind of good and is keep it open as well keep your options open don't commit i mean i haven't committed to this design i mean i have the the, the, the client's happy with it but i think always see what it's like on the ground and this gets you thinking in advance like the questions to ask yeah when you get there say well what is that bush going to get too big or that view will that get blocked if i put the fennel over or you know just just think about the stuff as, as you're doing it so so it's nice so it's it's good and then there's other ideas come along as well <clears throat> you start with a i've got a bush i've got a um, water here can you see the water feature from the pergola and and then echo it so maybe uh, put a little water feature here a little round circular bowl rather than a one meter or so one put a little one there and then you echo that so you get like oh and it looks like oh it's fire and he draws the eye out and it's a focal point this is all getting a bit um, fancy pantsy ornamentally not that particularly forest gardeny but having said that tapestry lawn native climbers um blueberry bush fennel uh lemonade bush new jersey tea water for the birds dwarf oregano kind of native dwarf oregano kind of oregano vulgare so, uh, rosemary for uh, the, the the scent you know it's it, there's a lot going on there's a lot of possibilities and potential and and lots of kind of wild wildlife potential as well um so yeah so a kind of it's, it's exciting it's exciting and i kind of like the stones I actually they're good they will bring i think tie everything together so that's that's all good that's all good i'm kind of happy happy with this and uh, let, i'm gonna get on and do the uh, other stuff as well oh i'll show you the, the the sketches that i've done oh my phone hasn't come on what do you mean my phone hasn't come on la da 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 looking for the phone yeah yeah, yeah it's here there we go waiting for the connection <laughs> oh yeah this is my glasses i can't see i'm a bit uh getting old a bit so i can't really see anything you still there <laughs> right so this is the sketch that i've done oh um yeah so yeah you get the yeah this is exactly what you can see on the on the thing i don't know god knows why i'm showing you uh oh well it matter. No, it's, it's there anyway don't forget subscribe if you like this it's me talking gardening bollocks um there's a subscribe button up there and um yeah very exciting now now's the time to start scheduling so this is going to be the next big job schedule everything i'm going to start work path goes in february pergola goes in april uh, and i'm kind of getting plants in you know rest of december and, and i'm kind of working as and around other people and stuff waiting for a bit of tree work and all that kind of thing so that's what i'm going to be doing got a couple of other jobs on as well so i'm going to need to ask well i'm going to ask permission to use stuff for live streams for the other job bloody brilliant job as well this is a beautiful job and the next one's lovely as well so it's a very very lucky privileged position to be in having people who give a damn about wildlife and give a damn about gardens so they're they're my favorite clients <laughs> but um and i think it's yeah it's good there's a lot of people out there who do give a damn so so thank you everybody and uh and i just want to put a shout out as well say thank you to my um or the my patreon uh patreon patrons patreons uh oh god what the hell is it is it nature works i think it's nature works god i hope so <laughs> i've got a patreon there so if you like what i do click on click on the link subs oh hold on that's not there it's this one here um yeah so that's my patreon so if you want to you know help me out monthly one pound a month or whatever that'd be cool and then click on the subscribe button like 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 all the rest of it thank you for watching see you soon bye